a friend of mine asked me about the um, rapture. So let's, uh, to understand the rapture, first uh, off, it's not, not, not mentioned in the Bible. The word is not mentioned in the Bible. The second thing is the, the total misconception that uh, people go to heaven when they die or else uh, down below hell. And, uh, you know, people believe that they have an immortal soul, that they're going to live forever. You know, that they, some of them believe they lived before they came to the earth. They were angels or something, although they can't remember it. Some say they can, but um, uh, there's a lot of deception in the world. But uh, is this true? You know, uh, every religion has something like that. You know, the afterlife, the happy hunting ground. Uh, this is something that is, uh, people will believe even if you show them from the Bible that it's not in the Bible, that teaching is not true, that's a pagan teaching. They'll still hold on to it because it's in their heart, something in their heart. And um, this comes from uh, 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 Ecclesiastes. We'll take a look in Ecclesiastes, um, third chapter. And it says, uh, verse 11, this is the NIV. New International Version. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, that they cannot fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. So eternity is in the heart of man. God, Man was created in God's image. That's why man, a lot of men think that they're, they cannot die. But uh, they can. When you, when you lose an eye, you can't see anymore. Uh, when you lose your brain, you can't think anymore. When everything dies, you're gone. That's the that's the the physical fact. You know that. But pe some people think, well, they're so spiritual, they know better than that. And um, you know, it's probably because God set eternity in the heart of man that they don't think they can die. But that is that is wrong. They have the 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 capability to live forever. God has put that in their heart, but only only through Jesus Christ can that be realized. And only in the, on his terms. Now, a lot of people think they're going to heaven, but uh, the Bible says to the he to to Jehovah the heavens belong, and the earth he has given to the sons of man. They don't belong up there. We weren't created angels. When God created man from the dust, and the man sinned, he told him, "For thou will, will return to the dust." For dust thou art. I made you from the dust. I made you in my image. And you have these uh, powers and, and abilities to think and reason. You didn't even to think of forever. But you will return to the dust in the day that you eat from that fruit. You don't have e immortality. For dust, you're dust. That's all you are. And to dust you will return. Not to heaven. Neither did he say he was going to burn him in hell. But psh, that's it. Dust to dust. No more. No more anything. And, uh, um, you know, this teachings of the rapture and everything, that's what people lure their, 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 you know, oh, you come into our church, man, and you're not going to have to go through any tribulation. You're just, God's just going to rapture you right up to heaven. You know? And it's all a bulk cock and story and uh, a lot of them know it and they just you know hey we're we got a good thing going here you know we're making a lot of money we, we set up a church here hey we got we really got things rolling you know we got a lot of people you know and uh the truth is it's a lie you know uh as far as going to heaven goes uh, you know they got some idea that what, what are you gonna what are they gonna do in heaven Sit out around there and play harps or whatever it is, you know. But man was created, the, the earth, the Bible says, but the earth he has given to the sons of man. So why do you think God, Jesus said, pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Why do you think that Jesus said the meek shall inherit the earth? Why do you think all those prophecies were written in Isaiah? The lamb and the lion shall feed as one. They will build houses and have occupancy. 
They will not build and another have occupancy. Um, in the Revelation 21, it says, The tent of God is with mankind. Descends down from New Jerusalem, it descends down from heaven to the earth. It's all about the earth. And it's going to be like heaven on the earth, or what people think of heaven. That's where it's going to be good. And that's what's real. God's not a fairy tale. He don't make up stories. And everything he tells, he proves. It's true, true facts. You see, that's where our faith is, not in some fairy tale. But it, I don't. It's, you're not condemned if you don't know the truth from the Bible. People don't search enough, you know, and you can blame them for that. But but if people know the truth from the Bible, that doesn't condemn them, and it doesn't make them righteous. It depends upon who you are, and God knows you. People, He knows what's in their heart. People cannot. People. There are people that don't even know God that are righteous, that want to do what's right. Why? Because God put it in their heart. They're created in the image of God. And they don't even know, they, they, don't, they might even, you know, live in some other part of the world where they don't even know anything, haven't even seen the Bible. And yet they can be righteous. Because God put his law into their hearts. The commandments, you know. To do what is right. To be honest. To love one another. These are things that God has put in our hearts because we're made in His image. But if you want accurate knowledge from the Bible, which I've studied for over 30 years, and that doesn't mean anything, because there's a lot of con artists in the world. But I know what the Bible teaches. And if you think, a lot of people say, well, yeah, the, the, uh, he was speaking to Adam that he was his body was going to die, but his soul lives on, you see? There's a soul, and that goes with God. That goes back to God, you see? That's what they say. But you read in Ezekiel 18th chapter, verse 4, it says, Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's why we all die. We are all souls. Animals are called souls. He created all the living souls. Even animals are souls. But as far as some little thing that floats off somewhere, no, the only thing that, that floats off is the memory of you and God's memory. And he will rest. Jesus says, all those in the tombs will come forth. Not to go to heaven, but right here on the earth. In Daniel, the 12th chapter, says, many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, be awakened and will come to life. That's what that the resurrection. The resurrection has not happened. Martha says Lazarus is Jesus told him, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. And his disciples, Well, if he's sleeping, he's okay, don't worry about him. Finally, Jesus said, He's dead. That's what mean dead is. Sleep. Ecclesiastes 9 5. The living are conscious that they will die, but the dead are not conscious of anything. The, the whole Bible teaches this. But if you would rather believe in your pagan ideas, you show me in the Bible where they are. They're not in there. They're in they're pagan uh, books. Not in the Holy Bible. That's just the facts of it, okay? So, um, uh, the rapture. Yeah, the rapture. <clears throat> Now people take uh, a thing, a scriptures that are meant for a very, very few, a very, very few from among mankind, that they will be fulfilled in them, and they want to apply it to everyone that says that they're Christian, you know, everyone that goes to church, they all think they're going to heaven, you think God wants them up there? <clears throat> There's a very, very few that actually are with Christ, wherever he is, heaven or earth or wherever he will be, wherever he happens to be at the time, they will be here with him. They will meet the Lord in the air. Ver Revelation chapter 14, it says, Look, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name 
written in their foreheads. Verse 3, And they sung as if it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed, bought for, for the blood of Christ from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, these were redeemed or bought from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to their Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile. They are without fault before the throne of God. <clears throat> now Jesus told his followers, You will be hated of all men for my name's sake. You know, it's like a big pile, a heap, you know. And the oppressors are at the top. Think of it like a big straw pile. And each straw represents a person. The oppressors are at the top. They're having the easy time of it. And they're lying. And they're getting all the money and all the power in this world. Because above them is Satan. And he's the ruler of this world. You know. And you don't have any sympathy for Satan. No sympathy for devil. Because he's already judged, you know. <clears throat> in, in John, he speaks of uh, uh, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, which will come to his disciples. And he, speak, he says, when he comes, he will speak to the, will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. And verse 11 says, of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. That's Satan. He's not deceived. Satan was never deceived. He's already been judged. He made his choice. And he lost his life that God gave to him. You see, he lost the great gift of life. He doesn't deserve to live. <clears throat> all, Satan, all those that are of Satan and Satan only will make things miserable for everyone else because they don't follow the commandments of God. They don't love their neighbor. And you think, well, how could an intelligent being act like that? Well, they're, 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 uh, Satan became egotistical and inflamed about himself to the point where he went like that, you know. Hopefully you, you and me never get to that sick point, you know, sickening point, the death dealing so uh, uh, Satan will be judged, and he will lose. The, he will. He does not have immortality. Who has immortality? First Timothy six sixteen. At the point that we live in right now, uh, there's only one that is immortality. Not you. Not me. Not the devil. Not the demons. Only one. Timothy. Um, First Timothy six sixteen. Speaking about Jesus Christ, verse fifteen will start, which in his times he shall show, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Who only hath immortality, who alone has immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto. So we're all mortal souls, you see. We all die. We all can die very easily. Only Jesus Christ has immortality. His disciples will also have immortality when they've run their course and, and proven themselves faithful. But these disciples are not just churchgoers. They are those that follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. They are hated among men. In the Psalms, David said, I have more, My enemies are more than the hairs of my head. Did you live that kind of life? From following the truth in the Bible? Have you lived the life of Christ? Have you lived through hatred and people wanting to murder you? 
through your life? Have you lived through the tribulations because you stuck to God and, 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 and had to lose family, friends, lovers, and everything because you stuck with God first? Is that the story of your life? There's not many, believe me. There's not many. Down through history it says 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. We're speaking of the Israel of God. The ones that are Jews inwardly that have the law of God written in their hearts. These are the true Israel of God. And they will meet the Lord in the, in the, in the air when he comes. And the seventh trump after the tribulation, that last trump, don't believe phony lying churches who want to get you in the door and promise you lies so they can rip you off. They talk real sweet and real smooth. And, you, and they are uh, uh, tricksters. They have it like card tricks, like a Satan. Great deceivers. And they don't care, but God is watching them. And he's got his finger right on them. And he's going to destroy them first. And they're going to suffer like they've never imagined. That's the fate of all those who take the name of God in vain. Believe me, it's coming. 